today's video is on graph travel cell. So what is this graph travel cell? Graph travel cell is so important and so easy. So today here the process of visiting and exploring a graph for processing is called a graph travel cell. So what is graph first of all? So it is a connection between the vertices and the edges. So how many vertices are there V1, V2, V3 and V4? And see these two vertices are connected by an edge line. So the interconnection between the vertices and the edges is called the graph. And now what is this graph travel cell? So graph travel cell is nothing but first we have to visit one certain vertex. So if I visit this one, so this is visited, visited vertex. If I visit the vertex V1 and next I have to explore the graph. See what is exploring? Exploring means after visiting this vertex, so we have to find out how many adjacent vertices are there. What are the adjacent edges? So this V1 is connected with V4 and V2. So those are the adjacent vertices. And what are the edges, adjacent edges? And what is in and around? What is the surroundings of this vertex? This is nothing but graph travel cell. So clear? So graph travel cell is nothing but the process of visiting. First I have visited this vertex V1 and next exploring. So next I have to explore. So this V1 is connected to V4 and V2. There are two adjacent edges. So the neighboring surroundings in and around of the visited vertex is nothing but the exploring. So first we have to visit and we have to explore and this is nothing but the graph travel cell. So next one, the thing which is very, very important here is the two algorithms based on this principle for finding the span increase are first one is breadth first search and next one is depth first search. What is this breadth first search? BFS. And next one is depth first search. This is DFS. The name itself indicates that this is the breadth first search. Breadth is nothing but the broad way. See here. So, we have to take a graph travel cell. So, first of all, it is depending upon the breadth. So, we have to think broadly here. So, first we have to enter like this. And next we have to search whether there is any another vertex to visit. So, this is another vertex here. And next we have to go like this. And next we have to search the another level vertices and see here. So, this is how we will travel. So, this is how we, how the graph travel cell happens in a broad way depending upon the breadth. So, this is the route which I am taking by level 1. So, first one I visited level 1 and next one this is level 0, this is level 1 and this is level 2. So, level by level if I visit and if I, so this is a broad way, broad way to visit each and every vertex for visiting and exploring and next to finding the path and this is called the breadth first search. So in this I am using Q. So if after visiting and exploring I have to name it, I have to post it in this Q. So this is nothing but C U E U E Q. And next one first in and first out method we will use in this breadth first search so i'll be giving the whole algorithm and with an example don't miss that video first of all i am explaining you what is graph travel cell what is this breadth first search and next one is uh, depth first search in this we'll go along level by level so level by level method or it is a broad way which we are using for graph travel cell so this algorithm is very very helpful for constructing the spanning trees and the next one here is the depth first search the name itself indicates that we are going through deep depth see first i'll visit this one i'll visit this one and next i'll explore and i'll find a path so i'll Find a path in the deep way. So, I am searching this in this way. So, next I will I'll enter this one. So, after that there is no path here. So, I will take a backtracking. So, backtracking. I will take backtracking and I will find another route. And just I will go through this way. So, this is depth first search. First, we have to go deep inside unless until we find a path. 
so if there is no path then we have to take a backtracking and again we have to find a route in such a way that we go deep into the graph and next after finding that there is no route here there is no way or path again we have to take a back backtracking and this of course is called as a backtracking method also so this is the main difference that is breadth first search and depth first search so in this we will be keeping all the visited graph in the stack and next one this uh, last in first out so will you apply last in first out ever uh, rule and here in the breadth first search we'll apply first in first out so whichever whichever the vertex is entering into the queue first it will be first out and see so this is the basic difference so which is going deep into the deep into the tree is called the depth first search and this one is breadth first search and this is nothing but the graph travel set so these are the basic things and these two algorithms are very very important for finding the spanning trees and in my next video i'll be posting the whole algorithm of bfs and with a wonderful example and most important example and later bfs depth first search with an algorithm and an example don't miss those videos the basic things i have uh, said to you today about the graph travel cell graph travel cell is nothing but first we have to visit that vertex and we have to explore that vertex exploring is nothing but finding out the neighboring vertices neighboring edges uh, in which way that vertex is related to other vertices and how many edges are interlinked with that and those are all exploring so it is the basic thing about this graph travel cell hope you all guys understand and these are very very important uh, topics today and please don't miss it if you know these fundamental things then my next video will be very very helpful to you thank you so much for watching if you really like you know please share it to your friends